The Nashville Soundbite presents This Week in Country Music, July 4th through July 10th. Two years ago in 2019, Keith Urban performed during the 4th of July Stadium of Fire concert in Provo, Utah. Keith talked about coming to America for the very first time. 1989 was the first year I came to the States and it had always been my goal but I, I had no plan on how to get here. It was just a case of keep playing, keep getting better at what you do and then hopefully somehow, somewhere I'll end up over here. The guy who was managing me at the time, we just planned a trip over here. It was actually for the New Music Seminar in New York. We came over for that and then we did a trip down to Nashville. I shopped my little demo around and I think I humoured everybody more than anything else with my, with my tragic ill-fitting demo for the time. So I left there, but I was just so committed to coming back as quick as I could. 11 years ago in 2010, Miranda Lambert received the gold single for The House That Built Me. The award-winning song is something that Miranda has always cherished. I'm so blessed enough that I did have a house that built me and I've never heard anybody say it like that and there's very few songs you hear that go that song changed my life and house that built me is definitely one that did and i'm just so glad that that i was privileged enough to get to put it on my record and and um and get to sing it 25 years ago in 1996, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill were spotted at the Nashville Speedway in affectionate situations. They married the same year. Tim talks about Faith. I think for us in particular it's unique because we're individual artists and we've only had a handful of duets that we've sang together. So when we put together a show for us individually it's a little different because we have our songs to choose from and we don't use the duets. And we only have a few duets so when we start sitting down to put a a tour together with duets, you, you, you got to take those first and you start figuring out how can we work together with the other songs that we have because other people want to hear some of the songs that we have in our catalog. 41 years ago this week in 1980, George Jones took his signature song, He Stopped Loving Her Today, to number one. Back in 2006, we talked to George about his incredible career. I've had a wonderful career. I didn't handle it uh, the best in the world. But, you know, people are far forgiven, and, and my fans have always uh, forgave me and, and stayed with me uh, through all these years. And I think we communicate together real, real close, and I think that's one of the main uh, reasons for my success, the, the type of songs that I relate to, the hard, everyday working man, and the stories and that fit the lives of all these people. 